Thank you all for joining today's session about our MBA program and obviously the financing, financing options that you can have with our program. I'm glad to be here today. My name is Marianne. I'm located at the SEEPS Zurich campus and I'm joined today by my colleague Claire also on the SEEPS Zurich campus. And later on, we will also have the chance to listen to uh, Sven Inden from Deutsche Bildung and how you can apply to their funds. First, I will introduce you very, very briefly the program and then followed by a more extensive session about our scholarships and uh, partners as well. And then I will hand over the word to Sven who will go in more detail on how you can apply to Deutsche Bildung. SIEPS, the China Europe International Business School is a premier global institute in the field of business studies. It was established in 1994 as a joint venture between the European Union and the Chinese government. To date, we have more than 24,000 alums around the globe. And I would say we almost have one alum in every big Chinese company. We have alums in 85 countries and regions. Chances are that there's an alum club in your region as well. We have 63 active clubs and 18 overseas chapters. So even if you're located outside of China, you have the chance to interact with our alums. The SIPS MBA is a full-time program taking place in Shanghai. The language is English, so it's not necessary that you speak Chinese. However, if you would like to learn to speak Chinese, this is also part of our SIPS MBA program. You can choose between the 12 months or the 18 months option. In the 18 months option, you can also go on an um, external exchange with one of our partner universities. The whole program, however, is located in the Shanghai campus with options of also taking overseas electives. We are evaluated at number seven globally by the Financial Times ranking and number one in Asia. We also do have all the relevant accreditations for you. This is important for your job market, like the AACSB from the US and the Equus accreditation in Europe. This is an overview of the MBA program. If you would like to have a more detailed explanation of that program, I recommend you to either contact me directly for a one-on-one -on -one session and a deeper evaluation or to have a look at one of our other webinars that we have done where we went into more detail in all the different terms and sections. Usually we have a very, very diverse MBA and on average people joining have five years of work experience. However, the requirement is only two years of experience. Um, 26 countries are represented and we have a ratio of 30, around 30% 30 of internationals versus Asian students. And now for the part that most of you joined today, the scholarship and financial support. Actually, more than one third of the cohort receives some kind of financial support. We would like to differentiate between the merit-based ones, which are the scholarship and fellowships, and the need-based ones, which are the CIFS Education Fund or the Chen Loan Subsidy, but also other loan programs, for example, like Deutsche Bildung. Here you can see the different stages at which you can apply to a scholarship. Uh, some scholarships are available before the application, like pre-application uh, status. Some when you get the offer from us, if we think you're qualified to join the program and it's a good fit for you as well. Others are once you have accepted the offer, then there's other um, funds that you can profit from. And there's also stakeholder offered scholarships that are organized in a different way. And we will go into more detail shortly. So the pre-MBA scholarship is actually still active. You can get up to 100,000 Remin B there as a support to your tuition fee. When you get the offer, you can also have an offer connected with a scholarship, for example, a merit-based one or a diversity-based fellowship. You have to differentiate there between scholarships and fellowships. And there's also a post-confirmation scholarship uh, education funds you can apply for, right, subsidies, there's corporate scholarships from our partners as well, and we also have post-confirmation scholarships that also include a placement after your graduation. Here is a visualization of the scholarships I've mentioned. We have first-year students merit-based scholarships uh, from SEEPS. On the one hand, there are the African Talent Fellowship, 
the Business Leadership Scholarship, the Women's Leadership Scholarship. As you can see from the title, it already is indicating who is applicable for the scholarship, right? So unfortunately, only women are applicable for the Women's Leadership Scholarship. There's also a Diversity Fellowship and an Entrepreneurship Scholarship. As you know, the MBA program has a uh, entrepreneurial aspect as well. One of the focuses is also entrepreneurship and we do have entrepreneurial lab. So if you're an entrepreneur, this might be something you would like to look into. There is also the option that once you have been admitted and you're entering the second year with SEEPS that you can apply for the Emerson scholarship. This is also based on your performance in the program. Then there are stakeholders of SEEPS who offer you in addition also scholarships that you can apply to. These are the DSM scholarship, which also comes with a placement initiative uh, while you're studying. Then there is the Shanghai Town and the Country Scholarship to foster um, talent and exchange in cultures. And there's the new Oriental Scholarships ad as well. There are also specific region scholarships. So we do have um, a cooperation with the National Black MBA Association. They are offering a scholarship uh, to US minorities to give them more innovative uh, exchange and also to experience and educate them about China. Then there's also the Talentia Fellowship Program. This is for students specifically from Spain and the uh, region Andalusia. If you're working there or if you have a, a special cooperation a relationship there, if you're living there, um, these are all aspects that would qualify you for that. If you have a specific question about one of these scholarships and if it's applying to your case, please contact uh, me afterwards. Then we also do have a QS SEEPS Global Significance Scholarship. This is applicable to everyone. It's a 100% scholarship as well. Um, you can apply for this if you have gotten in contact with SEEPS through a QS event. Same goes for the SEEPS eFollowsNet Scholarship. Here you can apply for it in answering one of the special essay questions that we have in our application process. So, this is probably one of the main questions you might have. How do I get to my scholarship? So if it's a pre-MBA scholarship, then you should contact my colleague in Shanghai, James, and he will explain to you the procedure there. Um, there is a certain task you have to do. I can also send you more information afterwards about that. The other scholarships listed here on the upper left area, you do not have to apply for this we will check your applicability when you apply to us. So you go and you submit your online application with SEEPS. As a process there in the application, you have to fill in an online essay. And I would really urge you to really put in a lot of efforts into that essay. In that essay, there is an optional question at the end. If you're applying for the eFollows scholarship, that's where you write why you would like to qualify for the eFollows scholarship. And then there's also student loan opportunities like example, the SEEPS interest subsidy, but also our, one of our partners, for example, Deutsche Bildung. And that's why I would like to hand over now to Sven Inden, who is the project manager at Deutsche Bildung, and he will explain to you in detail how you can apply for their structures. Um, Sven, it's a pleasure to have you here today. I would directly hand over to you. All right, okay, thanks for, for handing over. So yeah, we are um, um, we are providing a, a student loan. As it, as uh, Marianne already said, it's um, uh, funding for German and Austrian students only so far. But um, yeah, for all other European citizens, um, we are we are we are happy and um, that we can offer student funding for European citizens really really soon. So um, yeah, I can recommend you to check our website www.deutschen-bildung.de. And so yeah, I would like to explain you our funding, uh, which is really special since we are offering an income shared agreement, which is uh, yeah quite different to a classic student loan, which most of you um, would, would probably uh, know. So as you can see here, um, we have this circle of our funding. And um, yeah, it works like this, that we have an um, institutional and uh, private investors investing into the Deutsche Bildung study hall. And um, yeah, therefore they, um, or let's say they want to invest in young talented people um, to, to afford their, their studies. So as you can see um, on the green, green spot on the left side, we have this fund, um, which is providing funding for students 
And as you can see on the top, we um, provide funding plus a coaching program. Um, this coaching program, I'm going to explain a little bit more um, in a few minutes. It's yeah, helping students with um, e-learning opportunities and also uh, giving opportunities to network, uh, a network with companies. So next to this financial funding or beside of this financial funding, you also um, yeah, want to, to provide opportunities to um, yeah, learn, uh, learn soft skills and really important stuff. Um, next to your uh, next to your lecture sites, um, yeah. Finally, so if you are a client of us and you receive your funding, and after you um, finished your study successfully, you start this income linked repayment, which is part of the income shared repayment, which I uh, yeah, try to try to explain at the beginning. So you're paying back a um, fixed amount of your or fixed share of your um, your salary. And the really big part of this is going back into the fund so that you are um, also going to um, yeah, pay back a little in this, in this fund, which is funding the next generation of students as well, which is quite nice. So now, yeah, how, um, how is it working or how many um, yeah, funding is accessible for all of you? Um, basically, our find, uh, um, funding is really flexible. So um, people or the students um, who are applying for us uh, yeah, can ask for monthly payments, like annual or, or also one-off payments. So it really depends if you need um, a funding for, for example, student costs, where yeah, most of the funding or sometimes is, um, is, is needed at the really start of the, of the studies, but also monthly payments if you need it, for example, for living costs, so it's really uh, flexible. Um, the funding is possible or starting at 3,000 euros and um, goes up to 15,000 euros for a bachelor's program. For a master's program, it's 25,000 euros and for an MBA program, so what it's about today is up to 30,000 euros. Um, so once again, it's possible monthly, uh, one, one uh, sum of payment or a combination of all of it. Um, the funding period is up to 48 months, so long enough for this <laughs> MBA program. And yeah, it can all be combined with, um, so except, uh, especially for the, the German students, I guess they will notice with BAföG, but also with other scholarships, um, other loans, or also other financial aid. And um, yeah, it's independent from parental income. And um, if, uh, what we don't expect after your, um, after your graduation, the income fall, falls short, um, your redemption will be postponed. So you have like basically no risks. The repayment, so the really uh, interesting part. Um, how is this income linked repayment working, which is different to the normal loan? Um, well, it's always um, yeah, handling the, the individual work and life situation, and um, yeah, you get like a fixed um, fixed percentage um, what you pay back at the um, after you are applying for us. So it's not a fixed rate like a student loan. You're paying back between three and ten percent. Um, of your income and this over three and uh, over three and ten years, and this depends on uh, different uh, things like how many how many money did you did you um, yeah did you ask for, uh, what field of studies are you doing, and also um, yeah it's it's yeah, it's really really individual. Um, yeah, so since it's, um, the name income income linked repayments. Um, as you can see, income link means that you have to, to have an income. So what happens if you don't have an income? For example, you're unemployed after your graduation shortly. In this uh, time, you don't have to, to pay back. Um, and it starts later when you're having an income, so when you're having a job. And um, so, yeah, as you can see, um, it starts um, at the beginning when you have a salary of 1,500 euros per month. Um, the maximum is income. Uh, the, the income, there is an income cap, the maximum income. Um, there is a grace period of 24 months. So, example, if you have, um, if you go on parental leave, if you, um, this is more important for bachelor students, if you continue your studies, so if you get funding for bachelor students and then you do a master's, uh, master program, and um, your, your repayment gets postponed. And um, yeah, also in case of maternity, parental leave, I already said this. And in case of long-term unemployment, 
Um, for example, if you get really, really sick or something like this, the repayment can also be offset. And as I already said at the beginning, the repayment ensure that the next generation of students can be supported. Because yeah, the, this repayments uh, make the fund basically they 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 um, yeah they maximize the fund, make it bigger, and therefore we can um, finance more and more students. So yeah, who's eligible to receive this funding? Um, so um, right now it's um, really important that you have obtained your university entrance qualification, so you are abitur in Germany or in Austria, or at a German school uh, school abroad. So as I already said at the beginning, um, really, really soon we are able to also finance um, European, uh, other European citizens. So yeah, I can recommend you to check this out and check our website. So yeah, otherwise you have, right now, you have to be a German citizen or have a permanent residence permit. And um, you have, or well, you're planning to study at the, at the research university, um, yeah, which is a, basically a state recognized university as sites, for example, is. And uh, yeah, you don't, you don't have a negative credit report. And um, yeah, basically it shows that you're motivated to study and convinced that you have chosen the right subject. How, how to get it, that's um, yeah, really, um, <laughs> really short. So um, you can check out our website, as I already said, and then you um, register and hand in your CV. You explain what you're going to study or what you want to study, um, how much money you need, and um, what you what you need the money for. So if you need it for the moving, if you just need it for the living cost or study fees or a combination of all of it. Um, yeah, which documents do you need? So, yeah, as I already said, you need, you need your CV uh, to set a copy of your ID or residence permit, um, a conditional offer from your future university. If you're already studying, so the, the funding is also accessible if you're already studying. And for example, you um, after a few months, you, you, you see that you need a little bit more, more money for your living costs, you can still apply. So this um, funding is not only accessible at the start of your or before you start studying. And in this case, we need the transcript of records. Or for example, if you start your MBA program here, you already did a bachelor's program, for example, we need this transcript of records to see your yeah your results basically. Uh, yeah, we need a copy of your university entrance qualification and um, everything else which could be um, could be um, yeah, important to show your study motivation. For example, internships. Okay, and I guess yeah. Finally, what I also said at the beginning, we have an academy program. So um, next to this um, financial funding, it's also yeah, really, really important um, to learn further skills for yeah, entering the, the um, yeah, your, your, or starting your working career afterwards. So I'm really sure that at sites they also, or you are, guys are also offering a lot of uh, um, trainings and everything to, yeah, to, to improve yourselves. But yeah, we are also um, trying to help our clients with, for example, online trainings and workshops, um, we have um, yeah we are bringing bringing together our clients with potential uh, companies for for jobs for internships uh, for your master paper, and um, so different options. Um, we're giving really uh, individual career advice. So we have some clients who are not really sure um, what they really want to do with their, with their diploma. So, and then they can uh, consult us and we are like sitting together with them finding solutions. Um, we're giving consultancy on applications and, um, yeah, basically that's it. Okay. So, um, I guess right now, yeah, I would hand it over to, to Marianne, but to give, uh, to have this, uh, Q and A session otherwise uh, feel free to contact me under this um email you know it's gone <laughs> um ah, okay i think it's at the end um you can yeah contact me under this email or on my phone number if you have any further questions and, and yeah thank you so much in that sense i wish you much success in your application uh, in both aspects and hope to see you soon in one of our online events again Thank you, Sven. Thank you, Claire, for joining, and I wish you all a great day.